KKAG's weather camera is brought to you by Lone Star Roof Systems. No jingles, just roofs. Good Tuesday evening. What a difference 24 hours makes. Completely feels like a different season out there. Felt like maybe late spring yesterday. Well, now it feels like winter out there. Sitting at 45 degrees in Bryan College Station. Temperatures have fallen into the 30s in Waco and Temple. Sitting at 39 degrees. And we're looking at those temperatures between 20 to 30 degrees colder this time today than what we were dealing with yesterday. So that temperature about 29 degrees cooler here in Bryan College Station. 32 degrees cooler and Hearn and to add insult to injury. Check out the wind chills out there. Feels like it is in the low to mid 30s across the entire Brazos Valley. So if you have any evening plans, make sure you have that jacket on because it is pretty chilly out there. Now the good news is we're seeing the moisture move off towards the east. So as those temperatures continue to cool, we're not looking at any type of freezing rain, sleet or snow threat for the Brazos Valley. Parts of northern Texas did see some wintry precipitation today, but we didn't see any of that here. Now we did pick up some good rainfall accumulations, though between a quarter and half an inch for the entire Brazos Valley, and we are still dealing with the precipitation totals for 2019 below average, so we will take any moisture we can get and we got some good moisture throughout the day. A good soaking rain. Taking a look at future radar. Notice that we see that activity clearing out towards the east. Going to continue to deal with the northerly the northeasterly winds heading into tomorrow morning. Going to be dry tomorrow morning at the bus stop, but with those northeasterly winds continuing into the afternoon hours, that's really going to limit just how warm those temperatures get. We're talking about temperatures only getting up into the mid 50s tomorrow afternoon, but with the sunshine, it will feel a touch better tomorrow than what it felt like today. This upper level storm system is actually what sent that cold front into the Brazos Valley. Some cold air filtering in out of Canada, and there's a good snowpack to our north, which didn't allow that air mass to really modify. Now, as we head into the middle of the week, that dip in the jet stream going to move off towards the east. That's going to allow the temperatures to very slowly moderate, but we're still going to deal with below average temperatures heading into the end of the week. Another little storm system going to dig to our north. That's going to send the wind shift into the Brazos Valley late Friday into Saturday. That's not really going to cool the temperatures down, but it's going to prevent the temperatures from getting too far above average. Now, as we head into the week in the main jet stream to our north, so we're not going to see any significant impacts here. We're going to see those temperatures start to increase, but we have another storm system crashing into the Pacific Northwest, and that's going to send our next storm system into the Brazos Valley. Temperatures tonight going to fall into the low to mid 30s, so it's going to be a chilly one out there. Like I mentioned, make sure those kiddos have the light jackets. 36 degrees, Bryan College Station, 36 in Brenham, a little bit cooler across northern parts of the Brazos Valley where temperatures are going to flirt with freezing, but we should stay above freezing for most areas. But the wind chills tomorrow morning going to be in the upper 20 is going to feel like 28 degrees here in Bryan College Station around 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So make sure you're bundled up. You will be able to shed that light jacket as you head into the afternoon hours, but it's going to be rather uncomfortable tomorrow morning and taking a look at that seven day forecast. We do see those temperatures climb slightly above average over the weekend with that increase in moisture. However, as you know, it old man winter comes knocking on the door again early next week, dropping those highs back into the 50s. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, we went from spring slash summer like weather yesterday to winter like that. Bam. And it's, I just need consistency in my life. Like I said the other day when you said that, you don't have any consistency on all fronts, Gabriella. Oh, you know who does? Wow. Okay. I'm going to move on. I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. But you know who do has consistency who do in has churning consistency? out some who, who great do? people? Who do? The Aggies. A&M. They do. They do. There's they a Hall do. of Famer, right? Big night tonight up in New York for Jacob Green. He still holds the Aggie single season sack record, folks. And tonight he's going to get rewarded for it. Jacob Green 